for the CME Group. I'm Eric Wolfman Wilkinson. Let's get in the zone, the cash money zone. It's Tuesday, September 11th. Yes, we had our monuments to silence, and it's a very sad day down here. Actually, everybody is kind of reminiscing about what had happened. Uh, and uh, it's kind of a very quiet tone down here for the most part. But it's also ahead of a lot of economic data coming out later this week. So, you know, we are expecting volumes to be slightly lighter than normal. But a couple of things. The uh, bankruptcy court supervising the liquidation of the MF Global Assets and uh, has come up with an agreement with uh, James Gideon and the CME for the, or the disposition of those assets. Uh, the CME has also reopened uh, the claims process for MF Global clients that had lost some of their money that's a way to try and come back and uh, refile for those claims. That ends October 5th at 5 p.m. So if you have any claims outstanding or didn't get your claim adjustment uh, certificate in in time to the CME, you can actually reapply again until October 5th. All right? If you can't take that, take it easy. Anyway, moving on. Germany's high court also ruling on the constitutionality of the ESM. Now, what's going to happen there? I don't think they're going to totally say it's not constitutional. I think they're going to try and get back in there and decide how much they are going to participate in this. Now that's going to be the major factor in all of this. On to this room. We, yesterday we saw those equities really slide down, closing below uh, Friday's low, which really puts a bearish tone in the market. Now we are seeing a little bit of support here. We're going to have to tell by the end of the day if we can finish in positive territory or in negative territory. If we're in negative territory, it's going to continue to look like the bears are in control of this uh, equity market. But a lot of this is jostling around people closing up positions in the corn. We've gone down and tested 778, popped off of that a couple of times. That's a major support level for me. Um, I really don't see this market pushing much lower than this. I think it's a lot of funds that there was a record amounts of fund longs in the markets. I think some of those guys are starting to pare back some of their long positions. That's why we're seeing a major sell off here. Uh, over the last four or five days heading into this meeting. One thing about this meeting uh, for tomorrow, the September meeting has sent this market, the corn market, limit up the last five years. The last five years previous to that, five to 10 years previous to now, the market has been sent limit down for those five years. Now, what do I think is gonna happen? I think we're gonna see a limit up move. I don't think that there's any corn out there. We're really low on soybeans. For the most part, what I'm hearing is these latest rains didn't really fill out those pods as much as was expected. So you could ex you could look to see what those yields are going to look like. I think they're probably going to still come in right around 35 bushels per acre. The corn's probably going to come in about 123, 125-ish, all right? So if you can't take that, take it easy.